can I show you all something that I think is just dope as hell? After connecting with LeVar Ball at a Chicago Bulls game, he invited me out to Chino Hills to catch up with him at the Ball Estate. <laughs> we got to tour the new Big Baller brand warehouse. Um, I drove around with him all weekend in all of his fancy cars. Literally, he was chauffeuring me and his wife Tina around in the back of a Maybach Benz. If you don't want the light in, I'm trying to make my foot up. I don't want all that light up in here. So I block the sun rays out, but I give you the light still. Look at that little light. That's clean. That's clean. <laughs> Is that some cool shit? Not bad for a nigga from South Central LA, huh? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I even got to do a little stunting for the Instagram. But if I'm being honest with you, probably the dopest thing he showed me was that Leangelo Ball, the middle child, the one who's not officially in the NBA yet, has his own mansion within a stone's throw of his house. To me, that's the coolest thing ever, right? Um, we got to tour the inside of it. I really didn't get too much video of that. That's, I felt like that was a bit personal, but trust me, super nice. And while that was really cool, that is not the dope shit that I'm talking about. We also went back to the original house in Chino Hills and he broke down the strategy and the training plan that he had for all of the boys while they were there, which was cool as hell but also not the dope shit I'm talking about. Dope stuff that I'm talking about is the additions that LeVar Ball was either in the process of making or had already made um, since the last time I was at the Ball Estate in 2018. What you're looking at right now is a full-size gym slash baby arena that LeVar Ball is having built on the back of his estate for his boys to come home and play ball that during the off season. All this used to be turkey. Hell yeah. <laughs> God damn. We wanted to make sure you guys have enough. Yes, to enough to, down. yeah, it's gotta be a full. Uh, uh, so they man. have that feel, that experience, and yes. still NBA court. Yes, <laughs> yes. So that's, that's mainly what, that's how we kept, remember when we kept seeing just the tractor going over? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I can't press nobody with this much court with five people. <laughs> now tell me that's not dope as hell. But something just as cool is right up this pathway here in this little shack that looks like a guest home. If you've been following Ball in the Family or Lonzo or Leangelo's career, you know that those two guys love to rap. So LeVar had a full-fledged studio put on the property to incentivize his boys to come home and kick it with him now you look here and you don't see a ton of switchers and mixing boards because this entire studio is digital <laughs> no this is digital Tom. the ac come on in here ain't no windows you be up in this but you don't know if it's light or dark up in here. yeah and uh you know Got a, a room right here. Soundproof joint. Yep. Oh, I let him be careful coming in here because okay. you got to go sideways. You know, oh, gotcha. shit. So we take it off my shit. Up, hey, B. Hello, hello. Oh, damn. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah this yeah. is where it's at, dog. Yeah. You can scream, you go crazy. This motherfucker <laughs> thick as hell in here, see? Yeah. What's also dope is not only is this room set up for Zoe and Jello to record their mixtapes, you heard the Ball Star pack, but it's also with the capability for LeVar to record his very own podcast on, yes, this $10,000 telephonic microphone. How dope is that? Come on, dog. We doing it. You got to have the right shit, man. Yeah. Now, look at the difference between that one and this one, dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this would come in a case like this in that case. Yeah. Hook it up to all kind of stuff. This, this is the real deal. Now, as a mama's boy, myself, I wanted to save what I determined 
to be the dopest thing last. Um, LeVar walked me around the property and showed me that during the pandemic, he had this specific trail installed for his wife, Tina, to be able to walk around and do rehab. You walk around this way. Ah, uh, cool. Walk up the stairs. And then me and her, sometimes we, we used to come out here and get some lunch. Mm -hmm. so we, we sit up here like at a park. And then we got to go. And put my potato water to the shiny stuff in. But, yeah, we, we sit up here, have a little lunch or something, man. Just kick back the dog. We walk and run around here. But she'll use the rail. And then she walk up there and walk around. And then we walk back. And that's one lap. Yeah. So she'll get that in. Don't get me wrong, there are tons of super dope materialistic things um, to get excited about at the Ball Estate. But as a father, I am always impressed by men who are willing to go the extra mile for their families. And I think that throughout that whole neighborhood, LeVar Ball and the Ball family have left an imprint that to me is super dope also was able to do some culture defining interviews with lavar ball and if you haven't saw those check them out here the ball planet is me and tina yeah who in the ball planet i already got the shirt to let you know co2 g3 and mellow went to get some lunch